Shepherding School is in session with Jennifer Brinker. Mrs. Brinker is the assistant principal at Greenwood Middle School and joins us here on Weekend Sunrise to talk about issues affecting our kids. And today we are focusing on bullying. So check this out. Check this statistic out here. According to StopBullying.gov, almost half of children between fourth grade and senior year in high school say they were bullied by other students at school at least once during the past month. Does that surprise you, that statistic? Um, it does not surprise me that that's the amount of kids that feel that they have been bullied. Mm -hmm. I will say one common misconception is what exactly is bullying? Okay, so by the point. state of Indiana, um, for it to be bullying, it has to be repeatedly happening, it has to be overt, it has to be intended to harm the other child in some way, and it has to have created you know, a hostile school environment for that student. Mm -hmm. So a lot of those may or may not, mm -hmm. uh, they all have to be taken seriously though if that's how the student is feeling. Of course, what kind of bullying do you see most? Well, we still see traditional ways of bullying, the verbal, the physical, social bullying, mm -hmm. but cyber bullying, I will say, has increased drastically. And I think a lot of kids are just not being watched very closely on social media, it's so much easier to say something behind your screen than it is to say it to somebody's face. So uh, uh, parents obviously need to mm -hmm. watch and monitor what their kids are, are seeing and saying online. Yes. <laughs> um, so what are schools obligated to do? What are you as an administrator obligated to do? There are a lot of obligations for the school. So it starts off with prevention. Mm -hmm. Staff has to be trained on how to spot bullying and how to intervene with that and what, they need to, what steps they have to take to report it. Um, students need to be trained on the dangers of bullying and what to do if they see it happening. Um, so those are just a couple things they have to do. Also, schools have to have a bully policy, which you should be able to find on your child's uh, school corporation's website or in their handbook that lays out what those disciplinary actions can look like when bullying does occur. Something that parents can find online and, and talk to your kids about. What else can parents do? What are your suggestions? Well, I wish there was a way to just 100% bully proof yeah. your child. There's not. Um, the best, and this is very hard to do because a person can only take so much, but you can role play with your child and kind of act mm. it out and let them know not to react because that's mm. really what a bully is looking for is some sort of a reaction. So no reaction is the best reaction. The minute that they start adding fuel to the fire, then when that gets brought to administration, it can look like it's really just some sort of a dramatic feud between two students. So I would encourage parents to make sure that's, that's not what it is, that it's actually more one-sided. And if you feel like your child is in danger, you need to contact the police as, long as, uh, you know, as well as letting the school know um, what's happening there as well. So just those frequent conversations and, and making sure that your child isn't a bully. And if you see that they're doing some of these bullying behaviors, they need to go see a counselor. It's a matter of getting involved and being observant. Yes, right. absolutely. Mrs. Brinker, as always, thank you very much. You can thank watch you. this again and learn more on our website. Look for the story at WTHR.com. Be right back.